Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do one excellence or merit and excellence question uh, for an NCA level 1 assessment called uh, common assessment task uh, which uh, will be which is a task where you can't use a calculator okay so this is the question find an expression in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c for the area of the shaded region below so this is the shaded region this is a rectangle this is a x plus 12 and this whole thing is 4x plus 8 <coughs> So you want to find the area of this rectangle <clears throat> and other information that we have is this is a point and uh, these two line segments are equal okay so uh, this is equal to this and <coughs> excuse me so this distance now these two are opposite sides so if this is 4x plus 8 half of 4x plus 8 would be 2x plus 4 so this would be 2x plus 4 and this is also 2x plus 4 okay and this is the, if you add them it's 4x plus 8 now to find the area of this rectangle is area of this whole rectangle minus this unshaded part so this is a right angle triangle so this is <coughs> this is 2x plus 4 so this would be x plus 2 because <coughs> these are opposite sides of a rectangle so <coughs> Can I say area of this shaded portion is area of this rectangle minus area of this triangle and area of a triangle you should be known is this is the base and this is the height. Okay, this is the height and this is the base. So half base times height will give you area of this. So I can write uh, area of the shaded region, area of shaded figure area of shaded region would be now uh, let me change color so let me take green now is the area of the rectangle which is x plus 2 <coughs> times length uh, base times height which is <coughs> 4x plus 8 minus half the area of this unshaded part which is half times base which is again x plus 2 times the height which is 2x plus 4 2x plus 4 okay so this is equal to I can factor out an x plus 2 here if you can see x plus 2 is you can factor out so you have 4x plus 8 minus half times 2x plus 4 okay so let me close the bracket scroll down a little and I have to scroll this down so this is equal to x plus 2 times 4x plus 8 <clears throat> now half you can take again a 2 out here so if you take if you take a 2 out it will be x plus Two again yeah okay I'll have to scroll this down I didn't think that you need this much of space so let me scroll this down okay so this is equal to x plus 2 times 4x plus 8 and this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled that is minus x minus 2 just like that so this is x plus 2 times this is x 4x minus x is 3x 3x plus how much 6 and now I have to do the simple expansion of this which is 3x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 12 so if you can do till this step you will get a merit so this is a merit question this is what I presume okay so this is 3x squared plus 12x plus 12 is the area of this shaded portion okay the next part is an excellence question so let me make it uh, say wallet so what's the question use the expression in a so this was question a a part a 
to form a, and solve an appropriate equation to find the value of x given that the shaded area is 48 centimeter square. So what they are saying is this area is equal to 48. So what should be the value of x? So, so I can say now, therefore, 3x squared plus 12x plus 12 is equal to 48. So one thing that you can see very clearly, you can factor out a 3 here. Okay, so if you factor out a 3 here, you'll have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And 3 can also be written, or you can factor out a 3 from, so 3 times 16 is 48. So you can, can because you can divide now this side by 3 and this side by 3. So this 3 gets cancelled. So what is the remaining? We got an x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 16. Now if you take away 16 from both sides, so x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. And now this is pretty easy. This should be x plus x plus 6 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, therefore, now solving this, you can say x, this has to be minus 6 to make it 0, x is equal to 2. So you got two answers. Now, which of them will be, will you select? Can x be minus 6? x cannot be minus 6 because if x is minus 6, this would become negative. Okay. So, or both of them would become negative. This and this would become negative and the side cannot be negative. So, now you have to say, but x has to be greater than 0. Okay. Uh, or we can also say like this, but x but x is uh, not equal to minus 6. Therefore, x is equal to 2. So it's always good to check your answer. Okay, In excellence questions, it's always good to see whether what you got is right. So let us put the answer back. Oh, sorry. So x is 2. So can I say, let me use a green color. If x is 2, this side would become 2 plus 2 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8 plus 8 is 16. Okay. Uh, so this would become, this is 2, this is 4, and uh, this is 8. So this is 4 times 8 is 32, so this is 16, and uh, the area of 16 times 4 is 64 and from this if you take away the area of 16 take away 16 which is this is 8 and 48 and that's what they said the area of this is 48 uh, meter centimeter square whatever so this is 48 and this is 16 48 plus 16 is 64 so you should be pretty pleased if you got this answer and you can give yourself three stars see you in the next video